Hi guys. So today we're going to talk about triangles and their angles. Um, if you'll remember, um, you've learned before that all three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if I take the measure of angle A um, plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C, I'm going to equal 180 degrees. Okay. We've got a couple of special triangles um, that have a certain relationship within that 180 degrees. We have right triangles where one of those angles is always 90 degrees. That right angle is always going to be 90 degrees. A and C will be, you know, each of them less than 90 degrees. But A and C will add up to 90 degrees because if we take out that one 90 degree angle from the 180, we're left with 90 degrees. So um, if we take the two unknown angles, add them up, we end up with 90 degrees. The second special triangle that we want to talk about a little bit is the isosceles triangle. Um, the isosceles triangle always have two angles that are equal. They're always going to be the same, those two angles. Those are your base angles. Base angles are always the same. Um, and then the third angle is your vertex angle. So if you know your vertex angle, you could subtract that from 180, divide that by 2, and that's your two base angles. Okay? Um, let's look at a couple of examples. So example 1, um, we have... Angle A is 110 degrees. Angle B and C are both X degrees. So this is an isosceles triangle. If I were to add up my three angles, I have 110 plus X plus X is going to equal 180. Okay, this is angle A, angle B, and angle C. Okay. Um, I'm going to put these two together. So I have 110 plus 2x equals 180. At this point, we're just solving an equation. So when I take away the 110, then I know 2x equals 70. And I'm going to divide that by 2. And I find out that each of my two base angles here are equal to 35 degrees. Okay, um, I have my right triangle here. I know this one. This angle we'll call A, we'll call this one B, and this one C. We know angle A is 90 degrees. So if I go ahead and take that 90 degrees out of our 180, we're left with 90 degrees. So I could take angle B which is 3x minus 18, and add angle C, which is just x, and I want 90 degrees, okay? This 90 plus this 90 over here are going to give me my 180. All right, again, I'm just going to solve the equation. So I'm going to start by simplifying 3x plus x is going to give me 4x minus 18 equals 90. I'm going to add 18 to both sides. So 4x equals 108. Okay. And then when I divide that by 4, I find out that x equals 27. Okay. Now, that's not our final answer. That gives me angle C. Angle C is going to be 27 degrees. But to get angle B, I still have to plug this 27 in. So for angle B, I'm going to do 3 times 27 minus 18. Okay? And when I do 3 times 27 minus 18, I get 63 degrees. Okay, 
So the two missing angles are 27 degrees for angle C and 63 degrees for angle B. Okay. Now, the next example is a word problem example. So we have to read some information first, and the information we have tells us that an isosceles triangle has a vertex angle of three times the measure of the base angles. We need to find the measure of all the angles. I like to draw them out if they're not already drawn for me. So I'm going to draw out just a rough sketch of a triangle. And my two base angles are each going to be X degrees because I don't know what they are. And my vertex angle is going to be 3X degrees because it said it was three times the measure of the base angles. So I'm going to go ahead and label these just for my own benefit. And I know I'm doing A plus B plus C. I'm adding each of the angles. So A is 3X. B is X, C is X, and they all have to equal 180 degrees. So 3X plus X plus X gives me 5X equals 180. And when I divide both sides by 5, we find out that each of our base angles is 36 degrees. So 36 here, 36 here. And then to get angle A, we do 3 times 36, which gives us 108 degrees. Okay. So there are three examples um, at this point. Make sure you've copied all the examples down. You can go back and, and rewind the video if you need to and replay the parts that you need to replay. I will talk to you later. Bye guys.